What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? It first appeared as a faint glimmer hundreds of millions of miles away. Scientists at the Atlas Sky Survey in Hawaii logged it, named it, and called it a comet. And it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. But then it started getting brighter, way too bright, way too fast. That was the first red flag. Soon, more anomalies started piling up, each one more bizarre than the last. You see, 3i Atlas wasn't just acting like a strange comet, it was acting like something that was trying to tell us it wasn't a comet at all. Now, NASA is faced with evidence that this object is rewriting everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. An unnatural awakening. Many people are crazy about spotting comets. They are, after all, some of the most beautiful and predictable visitors to our night sky. But not all things are what they seem. When 3i Atlas was first detected, astronomers were thrilled. Early predictions said it could become as bright as the planet Venus, a once-in-a-generation spectacle. But right away, this object started to behave strangely. The first disturbing sign was its light. You see, comets don't make their own light. They reflect it from the sun. The thing is, when scientists measured the light from Atlas, they found something that sent a chill down their spines. It had what they called extreme negative polarization. Now that sounds complicated, but it's simple. It means the light bouncing off of Atlas was unlike the light from any other comet or asteroid ever recorded. Not just a little different, radically different. It was so unusual that some experts even theorized that the light wasn't just reflected sunlight. They proposed it might be coming from the object itself. An object in deep space that generates its own light? That's not a comet. That's a serious wow factor that the mainstream news completely missed. This strange glow was the first clue that the official story wasn't going to add up. Then came the second sign, and this one was impossible to ignore, its tail. Every comet has a tail made of dust and gas, pushed away from the sun by solar winds. It's their defining feature. Atlas, however, had something else. It had a monstrous anti-tail. Instead of pointing away from the sun, this tail stretched towards the sun. While small anti-tails can sometimes be explained as an optical illusion, the one on Atlas was gigantic, bigger than any ever seen. Scientists double and triple checked their models and the conclusion was unavoidable. This was no illusion. This was a massive trail of debris pointing in the wrong direction, defying the fundamental forces of the solar system. If that wasn't enough to raise alarms, the third sign was its shockingly early activity. The official discovery happened in December of 2019, but later when astronomers checked older images, they found Atlas was already active, surrounded by a glowing halo months earlier. At that time, it was nearly 900 million kilometers or over 550 million miles from the sun. At that incredible distance, the sun is far too weak to turn a comet's ice into gas. Comets just don't turn on that far out. It's like a block of ice melting in a freezer. It shouldn't be possible. Yet there it was, glowing when it should have been frozen solid. A bizarre glow, a tail pointing the wrong way, an activity where there should be none. These weren't just quirks, they were violations of cometary law. But the object's physical makeup would prove even stranger. Made of the wrong stuff. What many overlooked in the early days of the Atlas Frenzy was its chemical fingerprint. When an object gets close to the sun, it sheds gas and dust, and scientists can analyze that material to see what it's made of. This is where the story of 3i Atlas goes from being a mystery to sounding like science fiction. The fourth disturbing sign was found in its coma, the fuzzy atmosphere around its core. Spectroscopes found almost no water. Comets are supposed to be dirty snowballs, lumps of ice and rock. Water should be their main ingredient. Instead, Atlas was spewing out a mind-boggling amount of carbon dioxide, around 70 kilograms, or over 150 pounds every single second. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water was unlike anything ever documented. The thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't just a chemical curiosity. It was a fundamental contradiction. It was like finding a whale that breathes fire. But the weirdness was just getting started. The fifth and perhaps most shocking sign was the presence of a specific metal in its coma. Nickel. Now, asteroids can have nickel, but it's always found mixed with iron. That's just how they form in nature. Atlas, however, had nickel but no iron. Pure nickel. This is unprecedented. 
There is no known natural process in our solar system that creates an object like this. This discovery opened up a universe of speculation. Where could pure nickel come from? The most obvious, though controversial, answer is that it was manufactured. Some nickel-based alloys, like memory metals, are incredibly strong and resilient. To put it mildly, finding pure nickel in the dust of a comet is like finding a stainless steel fork in a dinosaur fossil. It just doesn't belong. Suddenly, the idea that Atlas wasn't a natural object didn't seem so crazy. This leads us to the sixth sign, its sheer size versus its low activity. Based on its brightness, astronomers estimated that the nucleus of Atlas was enormous, possibly up to 46 kilometers or nearly 30 miles in diameter. That would make it far larger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. But for an object so massive, it was surprisingly lazy. Its rate of mass loss was incredibly weak. A comet of that size at that distance from the sun should have been a raging volcano of activity. Instead, Atlas was barely shedding any material. It was a sleeping giant, and its existence as a massive object on its current path was a statistical anomaly in itself. An object that big only finds its way into the inner solar system once every 10 to 20,000 years. Its composition was alien. Its size made no sense. But its flight path was the most disturbing sign of all. A deliberate path. The seventh and final sign is the one that keeps astronomers up at night, the one they don't like to talk about publicly. It's the trajectory of 3i Atlas. Our solar system is a relatively flat place, like a dinner plate. The planets all orbit the sun on this flat plane, called the plane of the ecliptic. Comets, especially those from the distant Oort cloud, can come in from any direction, from above the plate, below it, or at any random angle. But not Atlas. It was traveling almost perfectly along the flat plane of the ecliptic. The odds of this happening by chance are about 500 to 1. That's like picking a single random person out of a crowd of 500. It's possible, but highly unlikely. But that's just the beginning of the improbability. Its path was also set to take it unusually close to three planets, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. This trajectory is, to put it mildly, incredibly convenient if you wanted to send probes from a single craft to multiple destinations. When you combine the improbable flat trajectory with the convenient planetary flybys, the odds against it happening randomly skyrocket to tens of thousands to one, perhaps even as high as a million to one. This is where we have to step back and talk directly about what this all means. The thing is, when you have one anomaly, it's a curiosity. When you have two, it's a coincidence. But when you have seven powerful independent signs all pointing to the same conclusion, you have a pattern. We are looking at an object with its own light source, a tail that defies the sun, that woke up when it should have been frozen, that's made of materials not found in nature, and is flying on a path so precise it seems designed. So are we missing a key detail? Or is it possible that this wasn't a comet at all? Could it have been an ancient probe, a relic of a long-gone civilization that finally broke apart after a journey of thousands of years? Maybe it was a transport vessel or even a disguised weapon that thankfully malfunctioned. People watching this are looking for answers, but the truth is all we have are more questions. What if this happens again? What if the next one doesn't fall apart? Not an arrival, but a departure. So we have an object made of impossible materials, flying on an improbable path that self-destructed in a way that left scientists scratching their heads. The official story is that the sun's gentle heat was enough to make this 30-mile-wide behemoth crumble into dust. But for people watching this, for anyone looking for answers beyond the textbook, that explanation feels thin. To put it mildly, it feels like an easy way out. The thing is, what if the disintegration wasn't the end of the story? What if the disintegration was the story? Let's explore some theories that are far more disturbing. One of the most mind-bending possibilities is that 3i Atlas wasn't a probe or a ship in the way we think of them. What if it was a tool, a piece of ancient automated machinery designed for a single massive purpose, terraforming? Think about it. What was the most bizarre chemical signature it had? An unimaginable amount of carbon dioxide being pumped into space. What is the one gas you would need to kickstart a greenhouse effect and warm up a dead, frozen planet like Mars? Carbon dioxide. This theory suggests that Atlas was an ancient atmospheric processor, a planet cedar that had been dormant for millions of years. 
Its trajectory, which brought it so close to Mars, might not have been a coincidence at all. It might have been its final destination. In this scenario, the object waking up hundreds of millions of miles away was the start of its pre-programmed sequence. It began to vent its payload, attempting to complete a mission programmed into it eons ago. But the machine was ancient, damaged by its long journey through the void. It couldn't handle the stress of its own activation and the sun's gravitational pull. The disintegration wasn't a natural event, it was a catastrophic industrial accident on a cosmic scale. We didn't witness a comet dying. We witnessed a ghost in the machine trying to give a dead planet a breath of life and failing at the last moment. It's a tragic and awe-inspiring thought that we might have missed our chance to see a world being reborn. But not all things are what they seem, and there is another, far darker theory. This one proposes that the disintegration of Atlas wasn't an accident at all. It was an execution. This theory suggests that our solar system is not the quiet, empty place we think it is. It might be territory that is already claimed or patrolled by an unseen intelligence. When 3 I Atlas, a foreign object of immense power and potential, entered this territory, it may have tripped a silent alarm. Its destruction wasn't the result of the sun. It was deliberately destroyed by something else. What many overlooked is the chaotic nature of the breakup. It didn't just split once or twice, it shattered into dozens of pieces in a completely unpredictable way, almost as if it had been hit by something. A natural comet warmed by the sun tends to crumble and fade. Atlas, however, blew apart with an asymmetrical violence that defied the clean physics of a simple breakup. The pure nickel found in its dust cloud becomes the smoking gun. You see, this isn't just metal, it could be the shrapnel from an advanced, non-nuclear weapon. A kinetic impactor or an energy beam designed to shatter a target without leaving a messy radioactive signature. The thing is, this theory provides a chilling answer to the famous Fermi paradox, which asks, where is everybody? Maybe they're everywhere, but they're too busy fighting each other to say hello. We may have witnessed a silent, long-distance battle in our own solar system, a brief skirmish in a Cold War that has been fought in the heavens for millions of years. It paints a picture of a galaxy not empty, but filled with silent, paranoid empires. This leads to the most unsettling thought of all. Maybe our solar system is a closely guarded border, and we just saw an intruder get vaporized by a cosmic border patrol. An ancient, automated defense system left behind by a civilization long ago still carrying out its silent duty. If this is true, then 3i Atlas wasn't the visitor we should be worried about. The real mystery, the one we should be terrified of, is the guardian that's already here. What kind of intelligence builds a fence around a star system and then hides in the shadows? What are they protecting and who are they protecting it from? The story of 3i Atlas is a chilling reminder that the universe is far stranger than we imagine. Do you think this was a natural phenomenon, or are we being watched? Let us know your theory in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the unknown.